Welcome back guys. We are now in step 13.5, which is all about using correct and autocorrect and autocomplete. Um, just like when you have a smartphone and you're sending a text message, your phone uses the autocorrect and autocomplete feature. The same is true for Microsoft Word. Word is intuitive in understanding our thinking that you wanted to type one word. When there's a mistake, it fixes that mistake as long as it recognizes it. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing we need to do is open up a new blank document. I'll zoom in. And we need to type, it is believed. Now, when you type believed, intentionally spell believed wrong. So B-E-L-E-I-V-E-D. And as soon as you press the space bar, watch what happens to the word believed. It automatically corrected and swapped the E and the I. So word would automat automatically correct the spelling and change the word as long as it recognizes it. So we're going to finish typing this sentence. Let me zoom in a little more. It is believed the Potawatomi Indians were originally part of the ancient tribe and a Shinabe. Enter. All right. So notice that there are red wavy lines under the words Potawatomi and Anishinaabe. Save the document as Neighbors 1 and make sure you save it to your Lesson 13 folder. Now, back to the, the red squiggly lines. When you are typing in Word and you get the red squiggly lines, always, always, always investigate to see why you have the red squiggly lines. Do not leave those on the document for several reasons. If you actually emailed a document out from Word and you left the red squiggly lines, those red squiggly lines will be shown to the receiver of that document. And so you want to definitely always investigate the red squiggly lines even if you know the word is spelled correctly. So the first thing we'll do is point to Potawatomi and right click to see what's going on. And Word will give you suggestions if they have suggestions on um, how what you need to do. So basically the word is spelled correctly but because it's the name of an Indian tribe it should be capitalized. So we're going to select the first option and it got rid of the red squiggly line. So again it was spelled correctly but it needed a capitalization. So let's move to the word Anishinaabe and right click. And notice the dictionary does not have any spelling suggestions. And we know that the word is spelled correctly. So the reason why we got a red squiggly line is because the dictionary does not recognize the word. So since we know that it's spelled co correctly instead of leaving it be, let's say ignore all. And the reason why we say ignore all is because if we type the word again, 
we don't have to keep going back and right clicking to get rid of the squiggly line we basically told word that we want to ignore every occurrence of the word in a shinabe so position your insertion point at the end of the document press enter and enter in the early 1700s comma space lived near Green Bay, Wisconsin. Enter. Now, make sure you type your sentence as exactly as you see it. For example, Green Bay, Wisconsin is a city and state, so the G, the B, and the W should all be capitalized. You always put a space after a comma. So you should have a spa comma space, comma space, period. Now, after you type this sentence, notice the whole sentence has a green squiggly line. And the reason why it has a green squiggly line is because Word is telling us our sentence does not make sense. So let's right click to investigate what is going on with the green squiggly line. And it tells us that that it's a fragment and we should consider revising this sentence so let's read the sentence in the early 1700s lived near green bay wisconsin well that doesn't make sense however if we place our insertion point before the word live and enter they with the space oh i have my um insert key on so let me go back and try that again I'm gonna toggle off my insert key on my keyboard so let's try this again they space live near green was Green Bay Wisconsin so let's click outside of the sentence and notice that got rid of our green squiggly line so word will tell you if your sentence makes sense or not by placing a green squiggly line under it however you have to read and figure out what is wrong with the sentence? Is it uh, a run-on sentence? Is it a fragment? What is wrong with the sentence? Do I need to add a word? Do I need to change my sentence around? So again, make sure you always investigate. Red squiggly line indicates misspelled word. Green squiggly, squiggly line indicates that something's wrong with your sentence. It doesn't make sense. So again, never leave those um, squiggly lines on your document. Let's go ahead and save the changes. You've just learned how to use the autocomplete and autocorrect sentence and recognize the difference of the red and green squiggly lines and how to fix them. Save, if I didn't already say save, and I will see you on the next step.